It's Jennifer with Underway Drifting and Dreaming. Jim and I are on the motor vessel Cetus. We are on the America's Great Loop. It's a wonderful adventure. We are finishing up on the Trent Severn Waterway in Canada. It was 240 miles of a wonderful experience of seeing small towns, the landscape. It was just wonderful. It just It's bittersweet because now we have to leave. But the good thing is we are heading into the Georgian Bay and it is where cruising and wildlife, nature all comes together. So we're excited. We're going to head over to Midland and get the boat ready for cruising the bay. We arrived in Y Marina. I think it's Y Heritage Marina. At the end of the day, we had a lovely spot on across from the fuel dock. And this is our view. Look at that open water. And we are excited to get going again, but there's a few things we need to do. And one of them is to put the mass back up. So Jim is very busy getting the deck ready just checking on things before we have the mass put back up. We clear off the deck. We have our pop-up blow-up chairs, which have been wonderful. They are comfortable to sit on. We can put them on the bow, the roof, the back deck, or even on the dock. We took them to a dock tail. We have the kayak off. It just allows to wash down all the spiders, trying to get all the spiders off the boat. There's more spiders than we've seen Canadians. They were happily eating the bugs, but the bugs didn't bother us, but it's time to say goodbye to them. So Jim's going to get the deck ready, and it takes longer to rig to take the mast down than it does to actually take it down. It was kind of funny because I was working the windlass, and the mast was back up before I knew it. Jim had been outside getting ready, rigging the deck, put the ladder up on top, and so we get started. I'm working the anchor windlass, and so we have a line going back to the mast. You can see it attached there by the radar dome, and I'm just using the anchor, the in and out pedals. And we did need to stop. Um, the line crossed over on the drum, and I didn't want to release it. I can't see what's going on. Jim and I are talking. I just held fast. He came up, fixed it super quick. And I say that mass went up in about probably less than a minute because he's like, you can stop now. And I'm like, but we're not done. He says it's up. Um, so it's great to have those headsets to be able to communicate. Else we'd be yelling back and forth and they are called marriage savers for a reason. But if you are new to boating, get a pair of headsets. If you don't have them, it makes everything so much easier. So Jim is just got, she's putting that locking plate behind the mast and I'm just holding the line. It was really easy. I didn't have to, didn't have to worry about it. The line running for my hand, I just let the machine do all the work. And Jim will come out on deck and put the, the boom up. I did not film that and he added all the stays but i'm telling you it took longer to set up and clean up put everything away than it did to raise the mast so from here on out we'll be able to put the boat in the water with the boom and we are ready to go cruising we just have to wait for you can see it's a little windy there by the flags on our our burgies on the bow so we ended up staying here two nights provisioned I got a lot of walking in. It was a mile walk from where our boat was at around the marina to the fuel dock. And Y Heritage Marina is a great place to stop. It's roomy, it has fuel, you can pump out. And they have a great marine service, a marine store. And I think that they had parts also. And we had oil that was on the boat from a, changed out the oil and they were able to take all the oil from the the oil change.
So the fold-up ladder, we're going to store that um, below deck. We have it near the, the elevator maintenance room, and we'll be able to use that again because we'll have to put down the mast before we go um, enter the river in Chicago and then quickly put it back up. And I'm just helping clean up and get everything taken care of, all the lines. I believe this is a groundhog. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. They were all over on the other side of the marina. Saw a fox while I was out walking. And it was just, it was out at twilight. That's when we get them at home in Texas before dawn and right before sunset. So look, they have a very nice fuel dock and we were right across from that. And I said it was more than a mile walk all the way around. So the storm has pushed through and we can get underway in the morning. Now, if you stay at this marina, you will have to take a taxi into town. There is a Walmart. There's a, it's either a Lowe's or Home Depot. We went into a little bit further. It was $16 for one way on the cab, but she took us all the way back to the boat and dropped us off. It was very quick. Um, and there's a lot of stuff to do in Midland if you have a vehicle or use a taxi. It, this is not a great place to ride your bike out to the main road. I didn't feel safe walking along the main road here. So you can have your mastery stuffed here. Pulled out. Well, it's time for us to leave. Our time here is done. We're heading out on the Georgian Bay. And <clears throat> I'm guessing 10 days of radio silence. Well, we cruised out of Midland over to Beau Soleil Island in Cedar Springs. It was a lovely place to stop for a weekend. It's the Georgian Bay Island National Park. And we are going to go out and explore a little bit. We are coming to the end of our first day of the Georgian Bay Adventure. We decided to anchor in a large bay so we could go ahead and put the tender over. You can see how the back deck looks so different. The mast is up. We used the, the boom to take the tender over. You can see the yoke for the cradle for the mast here. That and let me walk this way. So look at all that spider residue from going through the Trent Severn. I'll just say there was a lot of spiders. All right, there's a ball symbol on the bow. That means that we are anchored. We're anchored in about 12 feet of water. We did not put a anchor bridle on since very little wind. It's amazing. There is no tide here. This is the first time I've ever been anywhere where there's been no tide. So the swing of the boat is just based on the wind. And the wind finally calmed down. We are out in the bay. All these vessels are anchored along with us.
This is Giant's chair. We went out to explore the island. We did the exterior and then we went into the woods where the staff had warned us against snakes, particularly rattlesnakes and bears. And I'm concerned about ticks. Lions and tigers and ticks, oh my. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. <laughs> it's pretty dark in here. Things going across the trail. This anchorage was a wonderful way to start our Georgian Bay adventures. I have a list of 15, 20 spots to visit. We're gonna narrow those down to about seven to 10 and I will write down everywhere we, we stayed anchored. We did stay at one dock and the rest was at anchor. So thank you for joining us on our adventure here in the Georgian Bay, the American's Great Loop. Jim and I appreciate you taking your time out and watching the video. Thank you for clicking like and subscribing. If you have questions about our adventure so far, go ahead and leave us a comment. And we are going to sail out. Well, we're going to cruise out after the sailboat. We're not going to sail anywhere. So we're going to motor out of the anchorage and head on to Brown Bay for the night.